Today we head to Open Ocean Robotics, who produce energy harvesting unmanned autonomous boats equipped with sensors and cameras to make oceanic observations and instantly relay them. Here at Open Ocean Robotics, uh, we develop solar-powered, uncrewed surface vehicles. So those are autonomous boats that can go out and collect all kinds of ocean data. My name is Julie Angus. I'm the CEO and co-founder of Open Ocean Robotics. We're a marine robotics company here in Victoria, BC. So the boats really are able to um, collect data uh, in areas where it might be more challenging for a crewed vessel, and they're able to provide that data in, in real time. So it's a very modular system. We can kind of plug and play different sensors depending on what we want to measure. So there's a core suite of sensors that are on it. So for example, our camera suite, we have 360 degree camera, we have an optical zoom, we have a thermal camera. Um, we have a weather station up here that would measure things like wind speed, direction, air temperature. And then on, on the hull of the boat, we can put ocean sensors on there, um, things to measure. Um, water temperature, uh, salinity, um, turbidity, looking for hydrocarbons, so kind of oil spill. Put higher power sensors on there as well. So for example, seafloor mapping, that would be a multi-beam sonar unit. We have another project um, that's measuring ocean currents in the vertical water column. So that's really important to understanding um, how water moves, impacting nutrients, and also for marine traffic. So there's really a lot and there's more than that you can measure and we're seeing constant innovation in this space so you're seeing sensors become smaller, more power efficient and so you're going to be able to measure even more things in the future um, on uh, uncrewed platforms like this. Being an entirely um, solar powered boat is great because it gives us the ability um, to, to not only go out without emissions, but to go out for extended periods of time because we don't need to refuel. So we can stay out there really for months at a time, which increases the amount of data we can collect. Um, this is where we manage the boat. So we have a video feed that lets us uh, look at what our boat is seeing. We can update the route, we can get sensor data, and from here we can control the boat anywhere in the world. Yes, have a seat, take control. It is all yours. All right. Do you want me to put the pedal to the metal? Yeah, let's, let's gun it. <laughs> so right now it's running on the uh, cellular network but you can run it on satellite. So once it gets out of cellular range, it'll move to satellite and you can connect anywhere in the world. So this could be like in Hong Kong Harbor or something and uh, you would be here. The Data Explorer can travel non-stop for a year, always on and always collecting information, transforming how we research and protect our oceans. We are an island, uh, you know, at the edge of Canada in the Pacific Ocean. We're surrounded by water. It's an incredibly beautiful place. And we have a very vibrant we have a really high concentration of ocean tech companies. We have uh, more established companies. And I would like you to go out and explore the water innovators or waterpreneurs in your hometown. So go to it. It kind of smells like a stationary store. Does it? <laughs> oh, I think staples. <laughs> Weird. This kind of smells. Oh, yeah. New. Like a station. It smells new. It smells new. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not quite a new car, but.